No kidding. Just for Red Faction, the uh, Discord server has like 20 of them. <laughs> Fucking Christ. I have a friend of mine on a, one of the Pathfinder Discord servers, I think it was. I think it's him. Anyway, he um, collects them, so every so often you'll find someone adding him and just say, Hey, look, I found a new one. You seen this one? No. Yeah. <laughs> Um, never mind. <laughs> I don't even want to know. Wait, what am I supposed to do? Oh, I, I need to dash. Uh, okay. How do I get up there? How do I get up there? <laughs> Shit. Okay, well, Chester Chili is giving me some hints about how to get up to places. That's nice. Here we go. <laughs> I'm not sure how, how to react to that. I, did you even see what happened? <laughs> Hello? Shit, I think we lost oh, him. Oh, I'm mute. I was muted. Sorry, I was having a coughing fit. Oh. <laughs> Did you see what happened? <laughs> yeah, that was fucking beautiful. I was laughing my ass off. <laughs> Which, let me tell you, laughing your ass off while having a coughing fit is not fun. Now you know how I felt when I saw Smoke Backman the first time. <laughs> <laughs> I nearly fucking died. Yeah, I saw, I saw the cut there and I just thought, yeah, he was laughing for like 10 minutes. Not only that, but I had to clean up all the water I spewed out. <laughs> Oh, fucking smart back, man. We'll, I think he should just become the, the official mascot of this channel. He, I thought he already was. Well, he now is. I mean, we we have some pretty fierce competition between him, Mr. Dindunafin, and uh, now Big Man Kun Kunu. <laughs> Big Bad what? I, it's the guy that was posted yesterday on Discord. Oh, yeah, you're... A couple of his friends is what he's referring to. He's not actually done it for uh, his channel. So far, his channel's official mask spot is basically just Smug Pac-Man. Because he's everywhere. If for God's sake, I've put Smug Pac-Man on my Discord. Using Leopard, Using leopard style, style is the key. key. What are we doing in the Dragon Airy? <laughs> uh, you're on the Temple Bridges. No, yes, here it is. Temple Bridges. High above the clouds, these bridges are the only way to get around the Dragon King's army and deeper into the land. However, you need to solve a deceptively simple puzzle of levers to position the bridges in the direction you want to go, and one misstep could be your last. Ooh. Makes me... Why is there a mantis in the locked in a cage? Here's a better question. Why, is, why are there snakes on a place that you would need to fly up to? No, I'm fairly sure you got there through um, just walking. Oh. Whoa. Hey, what the fuck? What are you doing here? I killed you, didn't I? <laughs> Came back. Chuck him off the cliff. He won't come back then. Well, mate. Wait, the, what the fuck? I think he just attacked me. I think you have to jump in through the side. So oh, oh, never mind. Piece of shit. He's an archer. It's an archer. He's an archer, yeah. You have two enemies in this area, Cobra Guards and Cobra... <laughs> well, never mind! <laughs> Cobra Archers. And your hazard for this evening is Bottomless Pits. Pick him up. You know you can do it. There you go, chuck him! Oh, he didn't even fall all the way through. He just disappeared after a bit. Hmm. Oh, damn, look at that. I want that. Now watch... Remember, you're gonna have to use Leopard Style. Now watch me lose all of my lives. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> God damn it. The camera is really not Try helping there. Here. Oh, fuck you, guy. Oh. Nice. I actually, yeah. I actually nice. got my thing back. If you don't stop in time, the fucking jump keeps happening. And it's fucking horrifying. They're gonna beat the shit out of everybody. Off the cliff! Hey! 
Hey, how dare you? Get off the fucking cliff. Fucking wanker. If I collect a thousand of these jade chips, I might go to Disneyland. <laughs> I don't know what the jade chips even do. Give me a second. I'm actually going to Google it. I do Wrath of the Tiger. Jade. They're just called jade. What does a jade actually do? Jade is a natural mineral that you can find in the ground. Oh, really? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. There's Typhoon 2? Seriously? There is? Oh, God. Is it, is it? I've never, I've never seen this before in my life. No, I think there's just, there's a PS, there was a PS2 game called Typhoon Wrath of the Return of a Ghost, but I can't find anything else on it at all, and the artwork looks, well, if I'm going to be perfectly fucking blunt here, it looks like bad furry art, so it's probably, yeah, I think it's just made for... Maybe it was uh, it... cancelled then, if there's nothing about it. Ah, uh, Typhoon Wrath of the Tiger. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Uh, there's nothing on Wikipedia about it having a possible sequel. And I guess uh, it was never that... released. Well. Aha! Uh -huh, so, uh, someone, one of the uh, members of Kung Fu Panda, and I'm assuming one of the lead members because he's named specifically, um, also developed this. Oh. So, yeah, our little joke was right. It's entirely possible that <laughs> Damn it. a lot of the concepts of this were put into Kung Fu Panda. Why does this keep happening? <laughs> First it's the chicken wings in Spiral 3. Now it's this shit. Oh yeah, this is just invisibility. You can't see me for some reason. <laughs> Oh, I'm beating him up so hard he's emitting plasma. <laughs> the fuck kind of gas I is that? I do find it kind of interesting. Um, from memory, the game manual for this game had a shit ton of information that's kind of ever only really like touched on slightly in the game, including like full histories of different clans and how the Dragon King's reign affected them and stuff like that. There's like also information on like distinct ranks. Like a whole bunch of like a lot of information in the um It's pretty cool. Oh. You gotta jump off there under that. I'm not Leopard I'm not a fan of walking. leaps of faith. It wasn't, you could see it. <laughs> if What's about one off that would have retracted it? The only time Holy I shit. like leaps of faith is in Turok 2, because in Turok 2 you can do something which is uh, usually impossible in these kind of games, and that is uh, jumping in midair. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Holy shit, so do you, did you ever watch the movie The Incredibles? Is that the animated movie? Yes. I think I've it had seen absolutely, it. It had absolutely phenomenal music in it that really helped get a lot of the points of this movie across. Because they actually used it well. The same guy who worked on that, Michael Giancio, uh, did the music for this as well. Oh, the music sounds pretty fine. Yeah, it had really good music, I remember that. Where are my heels? Fucking taunt shit. God damn it. It didn't heal me. Whatever. Grab him, grab him. Fuck. Never mind. <laughs> Man, it, it, it sucks to be beaten up by an archer in close combat. <laughs> yeah, you know you suck when the archer beats the shit out of you in melee. Where'd you go? Must have been the wind. <laughs> I'll need to edit that in. Then I'm throwing one of them off. I need to edit in that line. Must have been the wind. <laughs> <laughs> the sound is so fucking stupid. Something <laughs> you just like. Hur, hur. Ow. Hey, don't stab people in the dick. That's rude. <laughs> you know what? Fuck it. But does he even have a dick? Well, here. Oh, here it is. Depending on the difficulty you're playing, either collecting 150 or 100 jade pieces will grant you an extra life. I just actually got it. Nice. What the? They teleported in some snakes. Not sure how to feel about this. That's probably how they got oh, here, okay. now that I think about it. They just teleported. Well, I just learned something. <laughs> the snakes, the reason the snake joined with the dragon is because the dragon 
they're hoping that the dragon will be able to turn the snakes into dragons because of his magical experiments. And the cobra captains, who do look a bit more dragon-like from memory, are the result of that experiment. That's actually kind of interesting. I see. But but why? <laughs> what has been? Who wouldn't want to? Who wouldn't want to be a dragon? Well, I wouldn't because all the fucking Nords would try to kill me. Oh yeah, by the way, Skyrim belongs to the Nords. <laughs> <laughs> Just a reminder. You gotta leopard jump uh, that way, dude. No, damn it! No, 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 no. Piece of <laughs> shit. Leopard jumping, man. Remember? But it wasn't that far off. At least that—that's what the camera suggested. Piece of shit camera. <laughs> Fucking camera. The greatest nemesis of this game is the camera. I hope the final boss is the camera. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great, though. I'm not fucking going there, what the hell? <laughs> it's kind of weird because uh, the first time around, I managed to keep the invisibility running for a lot longer. Piece of shit. <laughs> I'll give you some fucking kung pao if you don't get out of the way. I just wanted to pass. You don't have that ability. I just wanted to go on with my life and they interrupt my fucking run. What a piece of shit. I do like that the uh, leopard run doesn't actually take any chi. Like they could have made it take chi. Whoa! <laughs> they could have made it take up chi and actually had it been a like a chi ability. It would have done it in a shitty game. Really fucking useful. <laughs> yep. There you go. Uh, I don't like this. Oh. <laughs> there you go, see? <laughs> Why you do this to me, game? Oh shit, fucking ghost snakes. Oh wait, no <laughs> shit! <laughs> wait, damn it! I forgot they changed the bridge. <laughs> damn it. God damn it. That was fucking beautiful. <laughs> that was absolutely, that is, Mmm, mmm, A, A plus, A plus, buddy. Fucking hell, I forgot about the bridge. Pick him up and off. These ghosts are Riley today! Must have been the win! <laughs> That's so fucking stupid. You shoot someone in Skyrim and you just duck out the way if he don't see you. Oh, must have been the win. <laughs> must have been the wind that put this arrow in my face. It was at this moment that you knew you fucked up. Man, do I love interruptions. <laughs> Look at that. Bye. Insisting that I need a fucking photo for something. I don't need a photo. <laughs> what did you need a photo for? Uh, well, parents are being very annoying about the whole find a girlfriend spiel. <laughs> Oh, come the fuck on! You're younger than I am! That's none of their You've business as far as I'm concerned. I'll find one when I find one. <laughs> what would have happened if you just went, I'm asexual, now get the fuck out of my room? <laughs> I don't think that would have ended well. <laughs> probably not. And I'd probably be processing refugee paperwork for you <laughs> to come to Australia. Just... My, my parents would probably be cool, is it? Like, hey dad, uh... My friend is a member of the LGBT and got booted out of his house. Can he come live with us for a bit, at least? <laughs> and they'd be like, yeah, sure. I mean, that would mean I would have to pretend to be gay or something, but whatever. No, you wouldn't. You wouldn't have to. I mean, let's be perfectly blunt here. Gay people and so forth are no different from any other people. The only difference is their sexuality, and that's it. The only difference is that there are some that are just gay, and then there's Kevin Spacey gay. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, Kevin Spacey, the I'm the Weinstein of Teen Bean. Uh, I know it's making light of it, but Jesus Christ is defensive. Just what the fuck? Well, isn't that the best way to deal with these kind of things? Please stop jumping. 
to be fair, it's not as bad as Myers. Who the hell was it? Something Myers? Who basically his defense against why he couldn't be like sexually harassing is I'm a gay furry. Michael Myers? <laughs> I don't know who it I was. I don't think so. Uh, over that way. So you've got to go down? Shit. I... You've got to go off to the left. God damn it. Oh, don't jump. Don't jump. jump. It's definitely not that way either. That's where I went there the go. last yeah, go time. That, no, get, go that way. That's where I went go the last way. way. The last time. I know, but if you go that way and then you jump off the thing, not the part where you jumped off before, but the part that you can see right there. Hold on, I gotta Let get the rid of these guys. Fuck it. I'm out of here. Too many. The best way to beat That's someone is not to fight them. Go over here, jump off there. And then go immediately to your left and jump there. Oh, that's how it works. There you go. Why do I have to beat people up for coins? Can't we just trade? <laughs> <laughs> just pick them up and throw them off a cliff. Let's be blunt here. That's <laughs> that's all you need to do. Hmm, neat. <laughs> that's all I can say. Neat. <laughs> Ah, oh, nice. You can do the, the get you, cheat. You can do the magic while on the floor, just relaxing. <laughs> That's gonna be great, though. Just I'm just gonna relax and do magic here. I'm gonna relax a little. <laughs> Can't do any of that in Gothic Three, unfortunately, because if you try to relax in the wrong place, you might get attacked by a giant forest troll. <laughs> because of course. At least it's not as bad oh, as in Nordmar, where every step of the way there's giant black trolls. I still love that, just off the fucking cliff! <laughs> what kind of loading screen is this? <laughs> this looks like a still know. shot from a World War II movie. A corrupted still shot at, at that, but, you know. <laughs> so far I've killed almost... Oh, over 200 innocent creatures that have been brainwashed by the dragon. Well, I hope he he can do something about it. So how's Elix, by the way? <laughs> I haven't played it since uh, we last spoke. Oh, I wonder why. I've gone to playing DC. I actually re-downloaded uh, Shadow of Mordor. Not Shadow of War, the, the first game in the series. How is it? I've been quite enjoying myself. I've been quite enjoying myself with it. It's been fun. Mantis Caves. Here it is. Mantis Caves. The water in these caves are swift, so you have to be swift to fight their current. Stalagmites can be picked up and thrown to impale opponents, and some statues found here are not as stable as they might appear. Be warned, the maze-like layout of the game of the cave can be disorienting to the inexperienced. You have Shock Vipers, and Mantis Warriors, and the Ninjas. Look at this because place. Because they fucking... It's so close to the That's start. Gorgeous. Yeah. Why did we go all the way around? If you could just because walk you had to go to the Because you had to go to the leopard people first. The leopard people and the tiger people, uh, they hated each other. They were rivals. Big rivals. But they also respected each other. And so you went to him, them first. So I'm the aggressor. To get... To beat the shit, to beat the shit out of their daughter and learn their tactics. So I'm the aggressor. You're then. not the aggressor. Uh, do I nope, want to enter dragon. this cave of wonders? <laughs> yes, yes, you do. Fine. Dare you enter my magical realm? Uh, fair warning. Some of the cave, uh, the I... statues in the cave. Yeah, I was. Every Don't forget millions. you can pick up those stalactites and impale. They yeah, they're eels. That looks like a chame- oh! That looks like a chameleon <laughs> to me, actually. What kind of fucked up chameleons do you know of? Jesus! Uh, that didn't seem to work. <laughs> it went right over his head. It actually did, yes. Get out of here. That healing thing with the taunt does not seem to work as well as it should. No, it's just because the game's very touchy about what is and isn't a combo. I know, right? I'm trying to get that thing to show up, but it never does. Oh, Jesus. I nearly fell off the damn cliff again. Who am I fighting there, anyway? Looks like an ant. Statue. 
you are fighting the a mantis statue possessed by the spirits of mantis. Wow. I was not aware because, that you know, the mantis had so many souls to use for statues. No, well, they're dead mantis. So they hang around in ghost form and then possess statues when needed. I was also not aware that mantis were religious. <laughs> no, the mantis people are probably... Mantis people are always kind of seen as the more religious or... Maybe spiritual would probably be a better way to put it of in the games like this. Like, I think it's because the only mantis most people know is literally called Praying Mantis. Because it prays for prey. So, because it no, plays because prey. It, um, <laughs> holds, it holds its hands and body in a way that would look somewhat similar to having your hands clasped in prayer. So I think it might just be a reference to the fact that that's all we think about when we think of mantises is praying mantises and ripping the lover's head off. We're called the praying mantis because we play prey religiously. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently the new prey is pretty good up until the last bit. So I heard overall it's uh, pretty decent. I, I, never I know it. Kin struggling with a lot of the last parts because um, they're a bit difficult and the puzzles are a little obtuse. It is written. Only Link can defeat Ganon. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, these aren't possessed statues because they spawn out of fucking nowhere. <laughs> statues don't well, maybe do they're that. Just the man maybe they're just the Mantis Warriors then. Oh, okay, I just fucked up that light. That's a thing you can do. I know. This fucking game, I swear. Yeah, it just spawned <laughs> in out of nowhere. Hey, what the fuck? Get off of me. Shit. Can I heal now? No? Well, fuck me. What the fuck? Oh dear. <laughs> I just clipped through the fucking thing. <laughs> oh, damn it. Send you back to the start? Where the fuck was the next checkpoint? Nah, I'm not fighting then. Ah, oh, damn it. Man, that's kind of annoying. Let me out of the fucking water. Wow, they have really powerful fucking chi attacks. That's a little ridiculous. I got, I got the cheese too. <laughs> oh, and if you try attacking them a whole lot, they just put up this fucking defensive uh, barrier of electricity. That's double the annoying. Fucking shithead, come over here. You can't drown an eel, they say. Not if you try hard enough. <laughs> you clearly haven't tried hard enough to drown the eels. It's like drowning fish. <laughs> well, actually, depending on your definition of fish, you could drown a fish. <laughs> well, technically, when you uh, take a fish out of water, you're drowning them. Because it fills up the <laughs> lungs with air, which they can't handle. Just like we can't handle some types of fluids in our lungs. I always find it quite fascinating that you can drown plants. <laughs> yeah. At first you'd think, well, how the fuck uh, does that even see, work? <laughs> did you see that? He bowed to you. That's nice. <laughs> That's interesting. Wait, where do I go? Uh, I, f I forget. <laughs> down there. Go down there. I need this. I need this. <laughs> <laughs> down there. Keep going. Wait. Could I go jump up there? Probably not. No, you can't. This game was actually pretty good for that. Mm. Yeah, it's a little too steep. Run around, get away from the vipers. <laughs> Why does this remind me of some Gonki? <laughs> Of some of what? <laughs> if you never heard of a game, I'm not surprised. <laughs> it's I've never even. It, it's <laughs> what is... uh, it's a kart racing game that has you running around uh, tracks collecting moonshine as currency. <laughs> of course. <laughs> because yes, in fact, the the whole lore of the game is that there's a planet that is free flowing with moonshine. <laughs> 
but evil assholes from Earth have decided to come over and fuck your fun up. <laughs> <laughs>